We are going to consider indices of binomials and how to expand using the repeated multiplication method. By repeated multiplication, this is what we mean. Example, expand the following, a plus x to the exponent 0. And once we have a plus x to the exponent of 0, we know from our initial deduction that a number to the exponent of 0 is 1. That is from our functions of indices. That any number to the exponent of 0 is 1. What about a plus x to the exponent of 1? That can be said to be a plus x. Now, we can also consider another example. We have a plus x to the exponent of 2. And definitely, that expansion will give us a plus x multiplying another a plus x. And remember, that is a to the exponent of 2 plus 2ax plus x squared. We can also consider a plus x to the exponent of 3, which by repeated multiplication will be a plus x times a plus x times a plus x. And the last one is a plus x times a plus x times a plus x times under a plus x. Now you will notice that when we take all this repeated multiplication, we are giving ourselves more work to do because multiplying a plus x four times or three times means that we are doing this repeated multiplication over a longer time. However, this problem is solved under binomial theory because we can be able to expand binomials or polynomials to a longer or a higher power. For example, a plus x to the exponent of 3, which was a plus x times a plus x times a plus x, would have resulted in a squared plus 2ax plus x squared, or multiplying another a plus x. And that would have given us a to the exponent of 3 plus 3a exponent of 2 x, 3a exponent x squared, plus x cubed. 